Hey guys, so we're at the Great Sand Dunes National Park. You got mountains there, you got sand dunes there. I'm gonna try to do the high dune trail today for you. Um, as you can tell, it's blowing really hard out here. Uh, really windy and really cold, so I'm not sure I'm gonna make it all the way up there uh, in the conditions, depending on what it is up there. But here's uh, my best attempt. All right, here we go. The Great Sand Dune National Park has magnificent views of the dunes and surrounding mountains. The hike to the dunes begins with this walk across a sandy riverbed. Later in the spring and summer, snow melt will form a river here. So that was the easy part, about 300 yards through flat sand that I can show you right there. But now comes the really hard part. Is Putting this stuff in the sand, plus there's sand blowing, so it's smacking me in the face, which is kind of annoying, but I'm gonna go see how far I can get. The higher you get up the dunes, the better the views become. I'd just like to say for the record, that hiking up a sand dune in the middle of a windstorm is terrible. It's like your post hole and I should have brought my snowshoes. But I'm gonna keep going a little bit. It's hard to pick a line because there's no trail. So the most direct route leads to giant holes. So I think I'm gonna walk around the so find the best way to go. So anyways, the high winds were eliminating any footprints and causing visibility to be tough. All right, some good and bad news. I found myself in this little valley here. Uh, bad news is I've got to climb up that. Good news is I got a little reprieve from the wind so I can catch my breath for a few seconds. And of course, here comes the wind again. All right, I'm gonna keep on. As soon as I tried to climb up the hill, the wind started blowing the sand back down towards me. was so close to the top, about a mile away, that I decided to press on. That turned out to be a big mistake. As I hit the top of the ridge, the wind-blown sand became relentless. I had to pause, turn my back, or cover my eyes with my arms to avoid the sand. Between the incline and the sand, I decided this was about as far as I would make it this day. I can always try again another day. Hey guys! Sometimes you just have to know when you're beat. I'm getting sandblasted like crazy. This is what I'm supposed to go up at the top of the... That's high dune. God. At the top of this ridge was one of those things I learned in Star Wars. Has a very hungry monster at the bottom of it. Let me show you. And the wind's just howling. So... There's, I don't know how you do this. There's the giant hole behind me. There's the mountain I'm supposed to climb. That's the wind that sandblasted me. And I'm just thinking I might call it. I'm getting beat up pretty good. I'm going to try this way up here. It seems a little less. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this for you. But Blowing me around like a so, anyways, we'll see how far I get. The Great Sand Dunes are one of the most unique places I have been. Gorgeous views of the mountains and dunes that are a great challenge. I can't wait to try again. If you enjoyed this post, make sure you subscribe to my channel to get all of my hike updates. 
I hope to see you on a trail soon. Until then, happy hiking. <laughs>